Adecacorn is a private venture-backed company that's valued at more than $10 billion. And it used to be that if you had a startup and you went and raised money from investors and they valued your company at a billion dollars, your company was called a unicorn. And that used to be, uh, you know, kind of the gold standard, uh, you know, in, in Silicon Valley to, to create a unicorn. And nowadays, a billion dollars is kind of not enough. And the really impressive metric is creating a company that's valued at $10 billion and being a decacorn. When we were putting together the billionaires list this year, we found that more than 30 companies became decacorns over the past year. So decacorns are overwhelmingly tech companies. Uh, they're companies that do everything from grammar checking software to fintech companies to cryptocurrency exchanges. You know, if, if you want to have the really big valuations these days, usually your company has a, a really heavy tech component to it. There are decacorns everywhere, and some of them are some of the best known companies out there. Companies like ByteDance, which is the company behind TikTok. Uh, SpaceX is a decacorn, you know, Elon Musk's private rocket company. And payments processor Stripe is another really well-known decacorn. So with this rapid growth of decacorns, there's been a huge growth in billionaires uh, who are the people behind these companies. And some of the new members of the billionaire list, you know, who created Decacorns include Gary Wang, who's the 28-year-old co-founder of FTX, which is a cryptocurrency exchange, one of the leading cryptocurrency exchanges. And that company was valued at about $40 billion between its overseas and its U.S. operations. So as the number of Decacorns has grown exponentially, so have the number of billionaires behind these companies. And some of the new billionaires who come from the world of Decacorns include Alex Atala and Devin Finzer, who are the guys behind OpenSea, which is the popular NFT marketplace. And that company was recently valued at $13.3 billion. Another new Decacorn billionaire is Vlad Yatsenko, who is the Ukrainian co-founder of Revolut, which is a London-based digital banking firm that raised money at a $33 billion valuation in 2021. So there's been this huge growth in the number of decacorns over the past few years as the stock market has kind of hit record highs, you know, company stock prices and valuations have gone really crazy. And venture capital money has really flowed into a lot of startups who have stayed private for longer uh, while they rake in this, this venture money and, you know, sort of to new heights all while staying private.